so last year, my neighbor's parents were getting rid of this tree. It's a balsam hill, 10 foot Durango, I think, spruce. But you'll see that there's sections of lights that are on and sections that are off. So we have replaced a lot of light bulbs. The Balsam Hill website doesn't have the colored lights anymore. So I had to, and I'll put the details in the video, but I had to buy replacement bulbs. And so these are replacement bulbs that you have to put on the Balsam Hill bases. And so I'll show you that in a little bit because these are unique. So we had thrown a lot of them away last year when we replaced them, but now I'm systematically going through and replacing every light and testing them. So I needed to make new lights. The one thing about this replacement set is instead of yellow bulbs, it has um, orange. So aesthetically, it's not that different. Um, let me show you. Here is an orange. There's another one. And then right here is a yellow. So you can barely even tell. If you've never taken apart lights, there are two metal prongs along each side that have to be straightened up. Okay. And then you can pull out the light bulb. So I want to replace it with a red. So the first thing I'm going to do is split the leads coming out of here. And the reason why you want to split them is when you insert them into um, here, there are two holes. It's kind of hard to see down in there, but I want to keep them separated so that when they come out on this side, they are um, split. See how they're not touching? And then I fold one down this side and one down this side. And there's grooves in the base so that they guide you. All right, and that's a good one. Now I still do test them before I put them in the um, realm of being good. All right, because with this job that I'm doing, there are so many bad light bulbs that you end up having to replace a whole line to find out that somewhere between eight and 12 of them along that line were bad. So you need to have a lot of replacements on hand as you work your way through this tree. picked one good bulb socket that I know is live and I just plug them in and then if they're good I put them in my green bowl because that means they're good to go. All right now why do I do this because it would be terrible for me to be replacing bad bulbs with bad bulbs so just because I created them with a new bulb doesn't mean they necessarily are going to work. So it's time consuming, but I don't have to replace every light on a line more than once because I'm putting the time in now to determine whether they're good or not. If you're wondering what this tool is, it's a, it's a light puller. So um, if you buy a balsam hill tree, they actually come with the tree. See that right there. I'm gonna follow along here. I'm gonna start here. 